here we are with a T-Mobile G1 review with Rutgers 15. On this review, we are on a Rudy G1 with Drizzy Jack Hero 2.63 ROM. They give you six screens, I think. Yeah, like seven screens. As you can see, there's Twitter. Then uh, we'll show you some widgets. They give you a selection HTC widgets, Android widgets, and folder and shortcuts. These are new, the HTC widgets. Let's see. Let's add a clock. And then they give you multiple clocks. Shoes from whichever. And there it is. So, to prove it that I am running on a Jack Hero on a Hero ROM. Let's go to About Phone. And you can see you can't really see it that good, but it says HTC Hero. Some new features are such as the mute. This is one music icon right here. And then just click on the song. I mean, touch the song. And then they give you a new music app. It's pretty neat. Alright, so now let's take it to the browser. RIP Michael Jackson. Now it's loading up. Before my internet wasn't working for some reason, it wouldn't load up the website, so I'll just try another one. CNN. And now this one's loading up. And here we are. You know, and then they have flash player, so this just show once it finished loading. So on this ROM there's Flash Player 9. So and multi touch. As you can see. So as you can see, there's a flash player loading up. See? That's a flash player.
So let's go back home. It's a boot loop, so it shouldn't be should load up pretty fast real quick. AC logo. Um, you know, new notification bar. The time battery, Wi-Fi, and the service. Okay. See what else is new. A couple of new icons. Well, not really. Albums. This is the photo. And then, as you can see. And now there's, there's also camera and camcorder. Let's go to camcorder because I'm pretty sure that's the best. So let's press trackball to record video. But now on this, there is zoom. So you can zoom. But I'm in dark light so you can't see that I'm zooming. Somebody um, commented on my video before. This is wallpaper set and save. That's so you can like use different wallpapers, and it comes crystal clear once you set it on this. So just choose whichever one. I'll choose this one. And there it is, you know, nice and clear. The phone interface has changed. So once you dial a number, you could uh say seven three two. A lot of numbers will show up. So now if I go to the people. That's where all my contacts are stored in. It's not. It's no longer contacts. It's people. So you know, there's. Sorry for the bad quality. I don't know what's wrong with this camera. But as long as you can see. No notifications. You know, messaging. Compose a message. A different keyboard. Pretty responsive. Yeah. It's not better than the original Android keyboard though. And that is about it. That's probably all. Well, let me show you the weather widget. Weather widget is pretty nice. I remove stocks, so just select this. It says loading weather. Once it is done loading, see as you can see. Current location it is 27 degrees Celsius, and then once you swipe up, well once you touch it, it takes you to whatever it is. You no, know, it's pretty slow, but that's because you know 
it's around for a different phone and the uh, Hero has more RAM and memory. So you know, they have different weather locations such as London, you could add whatever you want, Paris, Barcelona. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the the boot like once you turn it shut down. Well let me turn it on and after that that's pretty much it. Cause the boot image has changed. That's the only thing that has stayed the same for the boot. The T Mobile G1 and then once it loads after that is good. Alright, this is the new boot image. Those are the Android bots. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, goodbye.